What's up guys? We are at the theaters right now. Me and Nico are gonna watch Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Dawn of Justice. This just came out, right? Yeah, this okay. came out today. So, I'm gonna watch it and tell you guys how it is. Nico, are you excited? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. We'll give you our honest thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. No sugar coating. We're gonna give no you exactly what we think. It's only two of us. We invited like a lot of people. We invited everyone we everyone. knew. Everyone. Everyone we knew. But they were all busy. So yep. craziness. Yep. They're lost. <laughs> Over here. Bam is the man. Bam is the man. Donna. Justice. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. All right, we just finished watching the movie. Before we actually talk about the movie though, let's talk about the first theater that we were in. Oh my gosh. Freaking kids. Holy crap, oh they were so annoying. Oh okay? my gosh. We got in the theater early, like they didn't even show previews or anything, the screen was black. Mm -hmm. These kids behind us, they were already making noise and they were like mm -hmm. not sitting next to each other, they were sitting every other seat. And yep. you already know that's yep. not good. We knew it was gonna be a problem. So right like we talked to each other before the movie, we were like, okay, we're gonna give these kids 10 minutes. If they do anything annoying, disturbing, talking through the movie, we're gonna get up and leave and try to get to another auditorium. No, another auditorium. We changed it to five minutes because they were they were bugging so us. Annoying. Okay, but we gave them like slack. Yeah, a little bit of slack. We're like, okay, maybe they're just talking, like just chilling before the movie starts. But when the movie starts, they're gonna be professional, not talk. Yep. But guess what? They talked so much. They were oh making so much noise. They like dropped food, whatever. Yeah, making like fart noises with their mouths. Making the fart noises, and then Nico went to check to see if we can switch uh, auditoriums. When Nico left, they were even more obnoxious. Uh, we got up, we went to another uh, screening of it, yeah. and uh, it was an IMAX, so we went to see the normal, but we got IMAX, um, and it was actually more empty than yeah. the first one. It was interesting. It was interesting because we paid for normal. Pay for normal. But like, it's like, how do we <laughs> yeah. get to this new like place? We made a plan. So what I said was, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I went to the recycled glasses thing. Where you drop off the yeah, yeah. glasses after using them. Reached my hand inside, picked out two glasses, broke them in half, went up to the box office, said, hey, me and my friend broke our glasses. Can we have new pairs? <laughs> Didn't without a flinch. They're like, sure, here. And then I just found the auditorium yep. that said Batman v Superman six o'clock, and then that was it. There it. And uh, we went to see the normal screening at six, so the IMAX yeah. was in six too. Mm -hmm. uh, so like we left this one, we went to the new one, and we were at the same spot pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Everything and was also fine. in the old, in the first one, there was also a crying infant. Oh yeah, there was a there was a crying baby there. So mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. there was a lot of noise going on. So we went to the new one. We watched the movie. It was very. I think the chairs were better too. Was it just me? Or the, the chairs. Ch were the chairs better. were the chairs better. Were way better. But about the movie, I told you guys, we were gonna tell you guys straight up. Okay, the movie was okay. I think it was overhyped. Yep. I was disappointed personally. It's, yeah. it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just really disappointing because to me it's wasted potential. The best part was the end. Oh yeah. The beginning was very slow and Ooh. I knew going in, like Nico told me, it was like two hours, 30 minutes of a movie. So the beginning was going by so slow. Like I'm like, oh God, we have another hour oh, or something of this. I cannot, but Terrible I- Terrible pacing. It was, it was not good. Terrible pacing. Um, that being said, there was some beautiful there was. shots, mm -hmm. beautiful cinematography, some beautiful scenes. Yes. But overall, the pacing was so brutally slow. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna spoil anything. No spoilers. But the, the fight between Batman and Superman I thought was very disappointing. Yeah, the trailers, well, <laughs> in the trailers it looked super sick. It the did. actual fight, it was average. Yeah, it was average. very average. Uh, not bad at all, but it was average. Mm -hmm. uh, it's edited really weird. Yeah. It, oh, and also, I gotta mention, I'm sorry, Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. Oh. Was okay, laughable. it was not good. I'm not a fan of that. Like, no. he does some good things in other movies, but this was not one of them. And I was like, I'm yep. gonna give him a chance, cause mm -hmm. why not? Let's go in there. Yeah. Not a fan. I couldn't yep. get on with that laughable. He, he seemed more like a like a Riddler kind he of. He did, right? He did. He seemed like more of a he Riddler. Was like a Riddler. That's exactly yeah, more it. exact. Like DC. Come on, why is he not Riddler? And he's. Lex Luthor. Ben Affleck was good. Oh, he was as, great. As, as, he was as great. Batman. He, he's a legit Batman. That was good. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She didn't have enough. Not enough scenes. She didn't have enough no. scenes to really gauge her acting. But when she was in the, she, she, she was good. She was pretty she was good. good. I liked yeah, it. She was pretty good. But uh, on a scale of one to ten, what do you give the movie? Oh my gosh. Right now, I'm a bit disappointed. I think, I think I'd give it a five. Five? I think okay. I'd give it a five, personally. I think, I'm gonna give it a seven. 
Seven, because the end was really good. The end was good. The beginning, if I feel like if they just cut up the beginning a little bit, it would have been this better. This movie could have easily been 30 minutes shorter. Yeah, like two hours, two hours tops. Like two <laughs> hours, 30 minutes is yeah. a little pushing it. Oh, yeah. But seven out of 10, that's just my honest opinion. Don't hate. I know a lot of you guys are like die hard. DC fans out there, I mean, we, so we love we. DC, we love DC, so are we. but we're going to tell you, I'm not going to be like, oh, it's the best movie ever, go buy the DVD Blu-ray, I know a lot of people loved it, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 5 out of 10, still a good movie, but if they just shortened it, and Jesse Eisenberg, not a fan, <laughs> he was so socially awkward, he was, I don't um, um, uh, enjoy the party, I'm like, what? Enjoy the party. Enjoy the party. Oh, well, now we're gonna go find somewhere to eat because yep. uh, we're hungry. Yes. All right, let's go. We're at Burger King. Not sponsored. So we are uh, at Shelby Lane. We're gonna be playing some bowling here. We got Gia. We got the crew in the back. What's up? We got the crew in the back. <laughs> Daniel's back at it. I'm back, guys. All right, so uh, let's play some bowling. Boy, Jack is here, and uh, we here have Uncaged stepping up to the plate. All right, show them how it's done. Wait, all right, Dave. Good luck, good luck. I don't think he's going to get it. Do you think he's going to get strikes? No. Oh. Someone else wants to go first? <laughs> what are your, names? your name's up there, man. Oh, my God. I'm going to go for the guy. I feel like I'm going to get a good All right, David. Yeah, David, let's go. Got it. <laughs> oh, we didn't see that. We didn't see that. We didn't see that. That was a warm up. That was a warm up. Here we go. Proper form. Oh. <laughs> see, G is actually going to get some. Oh. It's all about that 10 though. Oh. All right. So, right now, it's uh, our team versus their team. Come on, Steve. I got, I barely got one pin. I didn't see that happen, but. Yep, we're all watching you, Steve. That's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Laura, what do you gotta say Don't after uh, we beat up. you? Um, uh, rip. That's all I gotta say, Rip. <laughs> Ooh, here we go, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What was that? What was that? Okay. Oh god. Go down the stairs. I got it. You know about it. <laughs> oh All right. Well, we finished uh, the second game. We got cut off short because the time ran out, but I think I did pretty good. I got 69. It's a close game. Got a couple of strikes. Uh, yeah. Arcade Madness Part Two. You still have five days. No, I toss Dante all the time. So those couple clips that you just saw was from this past week when me and my friend Nico went to see Batman vs Superman. Let me talk about that really quick. That is just our opinions, all right? So please don't get butt hurt if you're like really die hard and want a 10 out of 10 from us. This is our opinions. Like you guys can love the movie, that's fine. But like, I think the movie's good. It's not great, but it's not bad. So I gave it a 7 out of 10. Still a good movie. 
just, I felt like they could have fixed some stuff. That's just us, all right? Take it easy. I know you, some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, but I just wanna talk about that really quick. And I also hope you guys enjoyed that bowling footage that I got. Do you guys see that one-handed vlog camera bowling strike? That was sick. Also, that was a one take, so I picked up the camera, and I'm like, let's hope for not a gutter. So I bowled it, and boom, I got a strike. So that was awesome. But before I end off this vlog, I gotta show the fan art, because uh, we got a lot of fan art from last week, and then the week before that, because I didn't upload a vlog, so let's show them off. So we're gonna start off with Twitter. This one is from Ken. We got me slash Tribor. That is awesome, dude. That's like me behind the helmet of Triborg. Really cool, I like the red background, and the detail for Triborg is pretty sick. And that actually looks a lot like me, so great job, Ken. This next one is from John's little brother again. His name is Jason. I'm gonna call you Jay, because I don't want to mispronounce your name any more than I probably have. Deadpool. Dude, look at that. I kind of like how he colored it in with the stripes. Like, he did lines for uh, the color. He didn't just, like, scribbled everywhere. I thought that's pretty cool. Thank you for the fan art, Jay. Really do appreciate it. This next one is from King Baraka. There's a lot going on in this picture. I think there's Baraka right there. I'm holding up, I think, new Cybot. There's mocap in the back. A lot of stuff is happening right now, but I really do appreciate it because, again, any fan art with me or someone destroying noob, I am all for it. This next one's from Ali or Ali. I suck with names, I'm sorry. But I can tell you that this doesn't suck. We got Batman right there. Look at him. He kind of looks like a kind of a vinyl pop figure. Really cool, man, really cool. This next one's from Eddie, and oh, it's sick. We got Johnny Cage, look at that. Very sick, man. He's ripped, he's ready, dude. This is Johnny when he was at his prime. This next one is from Matt. We got a Nightwing fan art, and it's actually me as Nightwing, so that is freaking amazing. I love Nightwing, Nightwing's probably like one of my favorite Robins, or Dick Grayson is one of my favorite Robins, so. Really cool, man. I like the blue that you put in there. This next one is from JG. Take a look at how awesome this is, man. It's me slash like ninja form. There's the Mortal Kombat logo in the back. Oh my god. That is freaking phenomenal. Thank you for this awesome fan art. And this last one on Twitter is from CrazyJTK. It's another Johnny Cage fan art. Holy crap. This one is sick. I like that little green glow you gave his fist there. You did an amazing job. Thank you for this awesome Johnny Cage fan art. We got a couple on Instagram, so we gotta show that off. This one's from Devin. It's a little hard to see, but there's two aliens on the picture, so that's pretty cool. I like how you uh, gave them little details right there. You can't really add color to alien because alien's already like black and kind of grayish. So this is actually pretty accurate. <laughs> Great job, Devin. And this last fan art is from, once again, Fuzzy Coconut. We got Captain America, Iron Man, fighting Noob, my god. Civil War should be like this. Noob Saibot gets killed in Civil War, confirmed. That is all the fan art I got for these past few weeks. If you guys want to get your fan art featured in uh, next week's vlog, tag me on Instagram at uncagegames with two Zs, or send it to me on Twitter at uncagegames with one Z. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. If you guys did, give the video a like, comment down below, and let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see me do. Maybe, uh... You guys can give me some ideas here because uh, it's very hard to create ideas for each vlog. It is it is getting a little bit tough here because I don't really have the most exciting life out there. I have like my moments and there is a moment that's happening very soon that's going to be pretty exciting. But that's not for like a few more weeks. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I know I've been slacking. I'm going to try to pick up the vlog action here. So uh, help me out by liking the video. Subscribe if you guys new. My name's Uncaged Games and you just got caged. Now, you hear spring break, you think of this. But in reality, this is... That's what I'm talking about.